EMTs in East Liverpool revived two people with Narcan who ended up unconscious in their SUV with a four year old boy in the back seat. It happened just yesterday near a church and a school bus stop. 27 First News reporter Lindsay Watson got her hands on the police report and some graphic pictures we'll show you shortly. She joins us live now with the details new at 10. When we first heard about what happened on the city of East Liverpool Facebook page this evening, and listen to this. That post was made only four hours ago and it's already been shared over 5,000 times. So of course that's when I started asking questions. Here's what I found out. Officer Kevin Thompson was driving on St. Clair Avenue near the First Church of God just after three o'clock yesterday when he noticed an SUV weaving in and out of traffic. Now the report says the driver had to slam on the brakes because a school bus had stopped at the intersection with Prospect Street to drop kids off. Now after the bus left, the SUV drifted onto Prospect and stopped. That's when Officer Thompson walked up to the vehicle. Now we have some pictures to show you of what he saw next, and we want to warn you, they are graphic. Now he says he found 47-year-old James Accord and 50-year-old Rhonda Pasek, both from New Cumberland, West Virginia, with a four-year-old boy in the back seat. Now before these pictures were taken, Accord was still conscious and told the officer he was taking Pasek to the hospital. He tried to drive off and Thompson had to pull the keys out of the ignition before Accord himself then passed out, like you see here. Now when EMS arrived, they revived the two with several rounds of the opiate reversal drug Narcan. Tonight, I asked East Liverpool Police Chief John Lane if something like this has happened before. As far as driving, we don't see it that often, but we'll see, find people passed out and parked, you know, get them in parking lots and sometimes in parks and little out of the way places. They'll, you know, shoot up and then pass out. You know, I imagine that little kid that's in that car, he's probably seen that at home. Probably dozens of times where they're passed out with needles in their arms. Now the police report also says a yellow folded up piece of paper was found on the right passenger seat with a pink powdery substance inside. It's been sent to the crime lab for analysis, but the police chief told me those results may not be available for a few weeks. Accord and Pasek ended up in jail last night and then in court today facing several charges. According to the Morning Journal, Accord pleaded no contest to driving under the influence and endangering children. He was sentenced to 180 days in jail and will have to pay a $475 fine plus court costs. Pasek pleaded not guilty to endangering children, disorderly conduct and a seatbelt violation. As for the four-year-old boy, police called ch Children's Services. Now, I'll continue to follow this story in the coming days. But for now, live in the studio, Lindsay Watson, 27 First News at 10.